But that was nothing to what things came out from the sea caves of Cricketh yonder. What were they? Mermaids? Dragons? Ghosts? Nothing at all of any things like that. What were they then? All sorts of queer things. Things never seen or heard or written about. Very strange, unwelsh, utterly peculiar things. Oh, Solid enough they seemed to touch, had any one dared it. Marvellous creation, all various shapes and sizes and no sizes, all new, each perfectly unlike his neighbour, though all came moving slowly out together. Describe just one of them. I'm unable. What were their colours? Mostly nameless colours, colours you'd like to see, but one was puce, or perhaps more like crimson, but not purplish. Some had no color. Tell me, had they legs? Not a leg or foot among them what I saw, but did these things come out in any order? What o'clock was it? What was the day of the week? Who else was present? How was the weather? I was coming to that. It was half past three, on Easter Tuesday last. The sun was shining, the Harlick Silver Band played March Shog Jesu on thirty seven shimmering instruments, collecting for Carnivon's fever hospital fund the populations of Puillet, Cricketh, Portmadoc, Borth, Tremadoc, Penhridudu were all assembled. Cricketh's mayors addressed them, first in good Welsh and then in fluent English twisting his fingers in chain of office, welcoming the things they came out on the sand, not keeping time to the band moving seaward, silently at snail's pace. But at last, the most odd, indescribable thing of all, which hardly one man there could see for wonder, did something recognizably as something. Well, what? It made a noise. A frightening noise? No, no. A musical noise? A noise of scuffling? No, but a very loud, respectable noise, like groaning to oneself on Sunday morning in chapel, close before the second psalm. What did the mayor do? I was coming to that.